God bless you in Jesus' name. I pray that this finds you well. I have an exciting message from the Lord. I heard earlier this morning the word home run, and I'm not really aware of how baseball works, but I just kind of kept it there and then found myself a few hours later just seeing in the spirit someone's hand on a bat. And what was interesting about this vision was that it's not just one pair of hands that I saw holding this bat. There was additional support. It was like there was an extra hand on the bat. And I remember that the Lord was focusing on this theme of hitting a home run. And as I tapped into what God was trying to tell me, he said he's about to do it. God is about to do it. He's about to do something that's going to make you have a home run. He's about to hit that bat uh, against the ball and make you release into the things that are going to be a series of events, ultimately hitting a home run. And this vision was pretty unique because it had to do with who's watching you as God is working in your life. When the batter hits the ball, in order for them to start running, they need to let go of the bat. And that's something that God was showing to me is that there's gonna be a change in someone's life. I saw that this has to do with careers. It has to do with these decisions that will launch you forward. It also has to do with vehicles or things that help you to propel forward, literally. So whether it's a way of navigating or the actual means that you are living by, whatever kind of income that one is receiving. The way people are running because of this, it's going to be at a different speed. You're not going to recognize how fast you are running. You're not gonna recognize how you are able to finally make it to all three bases. You're gonna actually make it to a home run. Some people have been used to failure. Some people have been used to situations where they have not been able to be successful and have not been sure about what God is blessing in their lives. But this is a confirmation for some people that he's about to do it. He's about to hit with the bat and his hand is with your hand. And he's aligning you to his timing, to his power and to his impact. Something that the Lord gave me in Isaiah chapter 40, it says here in verse 28 through 31, have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The way that God is lifting people up in this hour and giving you a momentum and an exact timing to do what it is that's going to propel you forward it is something that comes only from god because it is surpassing the wisdom that you think you might have so it's a good time to really be close to the lord and what i saw before this uh before coming on here was putting on headphones it's like really listening to what the lord is telling you because at any given moment he'll tell you go he'll tell you to hit the ball he'll tell you to run and sometimes that means letting go of one thing that you've been so used to doing and shifting to a fast-paced motion shifting to running and i saw that after this there is a celebration there is a celebration ultimately we know that we are running the long race when it comes to christ but this specific time has to do with something that god is assisting you with as your comforter and as the advocate the holy spirit is going to be working with people to say go and to actually guide you in the things that you're doing so as you move forward with the Lord at your ear, it's gonna be something that might feel like a roller coaster because of the speed and the power that the Lord is pushing through you. So I pray that everyone is tuning into what God is speaking into their lives right now, really, and I'm just seeing uh, to tone down the distraction from around you and to listen to God's voice in this hour. There are a lot of things that are moving around, but he's gonna place people in the center of a series of events and that's going to involve you running from base to base from glory to glory and no longer will you fail no longer will you say i tried but i couldn't make it no longer will you say it didn't hit the mark this time it's going to work god is about to do it so i pray that this blesses you in jesus name have a great day